All right, so welcome to our October call. Uh, I have only had one other call this month and that was for new reps. So there is a lot to cover. Um, so welcome if you are new to the call and I hope you guys learned something. Uh, as a presenter, sometimes it's tricky to uh, cover so many different levels of representatives as we are in all in different phases of our journey. But if you pick up a, a tip or two, I think it's worth it for you. So um, don't worry about taking it all in and learning a ton, but um, you know maybe just implementing one or two tips or techniques that are gonna help you in your business. Hey, Sarah, LaShonda, and Charlotte, thank you for joining. And if you guys wanna chat, uh, make sure you're selecting all panelists and attendees there. Um, so before you reach out to me and say, I'm trying everything, Emily, and nothing is working, um, I'm gonna challenge you and come back and say, well, have you watched our webinars? Have you done my training? Have you gone to Avon U? Um, so it, we all get to a frustrated point. Um, but we all may not be doing what we need to be doing to grow because sometimes learning isn't the most glamorous or fun thing to do, uh, but it can definitely advance us further into our career if we take the time to learn from others and see what makes others be successful. So if you are not yet overwhelmed with your workload, <laughs> Um, then I really recommend dedicating 25 to 50% of your time learning. Uh, it's easier to get out there and try things, but if we do it right the first time, um, it can go smoother for all of us. So I have a, a webinar for new representatives and that can be watched on YouTube. Um, I just did a Christmas product haul, so I showed you a lot of the products that are going to be in campaigns 24, 25, 26. Sometimes it's really helpful to see what it really looks like so you can uh, let your customers know or answer questions about it. Um, we also have a product hotline. So if you guys have specific questions about a product, I recommend that you first uh, go to your website. Sometimes on there, there's a better description. Um, if you can't find it there, call Avon Customer Service and uh, ask to go through to the product hotline. I don't have that number right in front of me, um, but just wanted to let you guys know that that help is there if you need it. I also have a video about how to earn the cruise to Bermuda. Um, so I was celebrating today because I have an amazing group of entrepreneurs who have already helped me earn the trip for one. Um, that is not normal to earn it that quickly. So I hope I didn't demotivate anyone by sharing that. Um, I hope that you see it as an opportunity of where you can be um, when you really put in the time and hard work into building a successful business. Um, you do get access to my training for free if you are on Team Momentum. So um, there's groups within our team. So if you're on Team Shine, um, Elite Diamonds, Team Enchanted, there's, there's different names, but you guys are all under Team Momentum. Um, and I usually set up access to that once a week. If you are not on my team, you are welcome to these webinars. They are free. Um, I'm really going to focus on helping my leaders. So I plan on doing some more videos to help um, advance in title and some of those things. So feel free to soak up any information that I put out there. You don't have to pay um, to learn from me. So uh, I have built a business 
through first building a big sales business, then focusing online and leadership. Um, so I have a unique perspective as I've really worked um, my way from the ground up. So um, you can do it. You uh, don't have to have a successful upline. You don't have to have a successful coach. Um, I just stuck with it. I always believed in myself and I looked to other representatives for inspiration and I just did not give up. So um, you guys can do this too. Uh, after years of hard work, um, the results start to look like they're magical. Um, so it does pay off. I know in the beginning, it definitely does not feel like it. Uh, so I like to share what I'm doing about my Avon business and what's going on in my personal life. Uh, Josh and Ava have had Red Ribbon Week at school this week, so they've been dressing up, doing fun things all week long. Uh, Cheryl came to visit, and this is my friend Anne. Um, sometimes having friends in Avon is just as important as having mentors. Um, some of us need to vent. We need to <laughs> talk about what we're excited about, what we're frustrated about. Uh, it's all very normal. So uh, try to find someone that motivates you, you know, a few representatives that motivate you, but then also just some friends that you can call when you're down or feeling upset and they can kind of pick you up and uh, get you in the right state of mind again. So I went to the Drive Like a Boss workshop and uh, Betty Palm was there. We got to sit in the Mini Cooper, so that was fun. Um, and then this is little Izzy here. She's four pounds now and we went to go visit her cousin dog, so that was fun. <laughs> um, and Ava's showing you her right now. Um, so Latoya is asking, how do I get more customers? Um, I will be covering sales tips uh, in the presentation. So uh, sit tight and I'll be sharing a few tips. Um, so sometimes uh, we're looking for a magic answer. Um, we're trying to figure out how everyone else is doing well. And it may only be the way that you treat others, the way that you take care of your customers, the way you treat people. Um, sometimes it's about manners and just the simple things in life, um, trying to help people, um, trying to talk to them to find out which kind of products they're interested in, uh, saying thank you, following up, sending books, sending marketing materials. Um, Sometimes we're too focused on wanting more and we're not taking care of the people that we already have. So um, I've heard so many customers say that they're just looking for a good Avon representative. So um, make sure that your customer service skills are there and don't just avoid people. If you have bad news, I promise you it's better to tell them that than to just ignore them or uh, never get back to them. I don't know how many people say, I wanted to place an order and my rep wouldn't call me back. It's like, well, what the heck? <laughs> you gotta take care of your customers if you want more. Um, we have almost 1,200 representatives on Team Momentum. Um, it's an exciting place to be, and it's also a little overwhelming. So if I don't get back to all of you personally, um, I'm going to apologize. I cannot let Avon take over my personal life, so I try my best to help as many people as I can. Please don't take it personally if I can't work one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, I have turned off Alma because I need to focus on my team that's already there. So while it's exciting that it's growing, it's also uh, kind of overwhelming with so many people um, in so many different stages of their Avon journey. 
So we are already at uh, 1.5 million in sales, and I'm hoping that we cross that $2 million marker uh, for the first time. Um, campaign 22 was our best campaign of the year. Uh, give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. Um, 102,000 in Avon sales in two weeks. So uh, congratulations. We have uh, a kit rebate incentive going on. So I don't know about you guys, but all of a sudden there's a lot going on at Avon. Um, sometimes we've gone through periods where there's like lulls. Right now I feel like uh, so much information is coming out to us that it's hard to keep up with. So uh, if you're feeling that way, you're not alone. Um, this is a really powerful uh, tool to recruit people and to uh, convince those who haven't started yet to place their first order. So Avon is giving this kit rebate incentive and uh, depending on which kit they buy, if they place a successful first order of $150, um, they will get a rebate as a credit on their account. Um, so if you guys are not yet uh, building a team and you want to be, I recommend that you study everything about leadership. Um, being good at something, a lot of it is having the knowledge and learning the process yourself um, so that you can give great information. Um, and I'm always of a, a fan of telling the truth, um, being very honest and letting people make a decision for themselves. I don't wanna talk anyone into becoming a rep if they don't really want to do that. So um, learn about the process, use these images and slides as recruiting tools and ways to help your uh, pending representatives to place orders. So these are the revamped kits um, and they're already going out. Um, so they are, uh, the products are a little bit different. The marketing materials are different. Um, it's hard to keep up with uh, all of the changes. So having slides and images like this is really helpful. Um, so there's, there's three things that are going to happen right now if someone is successful placing a first order of 150 or more. Um, they're going to earn their Kickstart commission of 40%. Um, they're going to get that rebate on their starter kit. And then they will also get 10 free brochures. Um, so there's a big benefit of starting out successfully and uh, having a good first campaign. You also, in your first seven campaigns, have the daily care collection uh, to use to um, try and boost those sales. So maybe that whole brochure is a little intimidating for you. Um, I know it was for me. There's so many products and so many things to know. Uh, maybe you just want to get started selling as many daily care collections as you can. Um, so I will, Deborah is asking about the slides. Um, I do have that in the handout, but I will also post uh, the images in our Makeup Marketing Facebook group. All right, so Avon U has launched. Um, what do you guys think? Are you loving it? Um, it? It should be helping you decide what comes next for you. Uh, good. Amy says she loves it. There's uh, a whole community. It's kind of like a, a social media where you can see activity that people are doing. Um, if you have not logged into Avon U yet, I recommend going there. Um, so if you don't know uh, all there is to know about Avon, I hope you're still developing and learning 
um, skills. There should be all kinds of information and it's self-paced. So you can go in there whenever you want, whenever you have time. Um, and good, Christine's saying it is fun. Uh, Ellen, so much more professional. Yay, Manzina just started it today. Um, so make sure you guys check out Avon U. Um, the old Avon University sometimes would have troubles even working. So um, this has been a long time in the making and I think we're all excited that it has launched. Uh, so our social selling, I guess that has now become a, a show. So um, I, I think it's going to be at least monthly. Um, and you can go and watch the latest replay there on YouTube. Um, you can check this link for upcoming dates. And then there's a Facebook group um, where you can go in there and uh, talk as a community. So our top 20 new reps in campaign 22, LOA is gonna stand for your length of association. So how many campaigns you've been with Avon. Um, and a lot of these uh, representatives are in their first campaign. So there is something to be said about starting off strong and having a successful first order. Um, I'm not saying it's easy. I struggled for about a whole year. So if you're in that boat, um, don't feel bad. Some people, I don't know why, some people it's just easier and they um, have really big first orders. Uh, some of us struggle for quite a while until we get our own groove. So congratulations to Sherry, Alyssa, Holly, Stacy, Dakota, Christina, Loretta, Christy, Tammy, Maria, Tasha, Audra, Jessica, Allison, Ramona, Mora, Andy, Tammy, Annette, and Winona. Congratulations. Um, so I'm going to go through a lot of the uh, representative holiday selling tips are at the very end. So bear with me if you uh, don't do recruiting or leadership, maybe uh, listen with open ears and take another shot at at giving leadership a chance. I tried to cover sales, online sales, leadership, and then holiday tips. So we have three ways of earning with Avon. And if you look at our team's recognition list, you will see that um, a lot of them that are at the top are placing on all of those lists. So it just reinforces the fact that the stronger foundation you build, if you build all three areas, you really have a, a more steady footing and you can um, build sustainable growth. So, um, you know, if we're only in leadership and we have our ups and downs, uh, that can be tough on the pocketbook. Uh, but if you are also doing online sales and traditional sales, that can help um, get you through if you're having a bad recruiting month. So um, it just helps you to balance your business and be able to uh, build it bigger. And then the excitement kind of builds on itself. Uh, you start earning those incentives and uh, life is much happier. So uh, try as many areas of the business as you can. We have our President's Club, which um, is during a full cycle. So campaign one to campaign 26. And if you earn President's Club, you get 40% on your um, earnings for all of your full earnings items for uh, the rest of this year and then the whole following next year. So uh, there's definitely perks to being in the President's Club. Uh, that is the biggest one, but you can find more information in your President's Program uh, under rewards and community, I think, on your Avon. Um, so definitely read up about the President's Program. Uh, that was, I remember getting a flyer in one of my shipments where it showed the 
all-inclusive trip and that was like the moment I said I'm gonna be a top seller and then uh, you just figure out your way as you go um, embrace what's different about you find your own niche and uh, try to become the expert and share with others so we have uh, some really successful sellers here on team momentum I want to congratulate Kimberly, Agnieszka, Peter, Cheryl, Ellen, Trisha, Terry, Leisha, Brandy, Angeline, Ella, and Brenda. Um, way to go. If you are looking for what your sales are so far for this cycle, um, that's also under rewards and recognition, and it should say goals. Um, so hopefully I'm telling you guys the right spot. Uh, but you can see where you stand for the whole cycle and how much you have to average per campaign to get there. Yes, Sarah, you are going to be there. Yay! <laughs> um, Congratulations to our top established sellers. We have Agnieszka, Kimberly, Ellen, Christine, Terry, Becky, Peter, Trisha, Bridget, Merle, Cheryl, Louise, Dawn, Denise, Donna, Jillian, Leisha, Lily, Vernetta, and Brenda. So those are Team Momentum who are in their seventh campaign or further. Um, so we have our drive like a boss incentive going on right now uh, goes through campaign 25 and uh, to earn points you want to have either attended a drive like a boss workshop um, or do your Avon U training and then you can also earn entries by sales and qualified new recruits. So uh, my advice there is just to always focus on building your sales, building your online sales, and building your team. If you're always focused on growth, um, when those incentives are announced, you'll already have a head start. Um, so don't just be like an incentive junkie where uh, your activity goes way up and then drops off when, when there's no incentives going on. Um, it's, it's pretty cool that Avon rewards us for building our own business. Um, and I, I have to admit, I love the incentives too, um, but we don't want to become uh, dependent on them, right? So uh, congratulations to Becky, Cheryl, Jane, Betty, Charlotte, Terry, Holly, Sarah, Ellen, Sherry, Barbara, Marcia, and Christine. Um, like I mentioned, a lot of those same names keep popping up on those lists. Um, so make sure that you are investing in brochures right now. Um, one way that you can really try to increase your sales is to invest more in brochures, invest in samples, um, get out there and put yourself out there. Make sure you're getting follow-up information so that you can check back with those people and see if they have an order for you. Um, so Avon is going to give us a five pack of gift guides for free with every pack of brochures you buy in campaign 24. Um, for my online sales, I do mail out the brochures from Campaign Mailer. Um, and I did take a look at the holiday guide or the, the gift guide compared to the brochure because I was trying to decide if it was going to be worth it to invest the extra money in sending the gift guide. Um, I did find that most of the products in the gift guide were also in the brochure. So I decided not to invest in that separately. Um, so that's kind of some of the stuff you want to look at when you're looking at adding to your expenses of the business. Um, make sure that they make sense and that your investment will pay off in profits. Um, so let's take a look at our three featured products for campaign 24. And if you guys aren't watching uh, campaign central, uh, as of now, you should be. Um, it's on your Avon.com and 
uh, Evie and Michael go through the products for the campaign. Um, they give you advice and tips. So a lot of times we're more focused on why isn't this happening for us than uh, taking the time to read and really educate ourselves about the products. Um, for me, it's more about learning and that, that's what gives me the confidence to approach customers and uh, recruits. So uh, if you're shy and a little uncomfortable, take the time to learn because I think it will give you more confidence and give you more to talk to your customers about. So we have the A boxes in every campaign. Um, there's a different one for each campaign and your customer needs to spend $40 to buy them at $10. So Avon's advice for selling them is to promote to all your face-to-face -face customers plus on social media. Um, I know my friend Ann, if her customers don't take advantage of uh, buying the A box and they did have the $40 order, um, and buys them anyways and uh, sells them to other customers. So uh, sometimes building our sales and our orders is about being creative, uh, taking that leap of faith and then uh, committing to sell those so that we recoup our money. Um, I know that I am stocking up on our A boxes that we don't sell and we're gonna give away an A box for free if they spend $50 or more on Black Friday. So these uh, ultimate value deals that Avon presents to us, uh, even if your customer's not taking advantage of it, maybe you want to, to help build your on the spot sales. It also gives your customers an opportunity to try different products that they may not have ordered themselves. Um, so take the time to share the box before you collect the order. Um, it increases your order size and uh, again lets them try products they may not buy otherwise. Follow up and see how they liked it. A little customer service goes a long ways these days because it's really hard to find. I think it's uh, becoming extinct in our economy, which is kind of sad. Um, buy one for yourself as a sample so we can be our best referrals when we try the products and uh, fill our empty soap bottles and shampoo with Avon products. Um, we can become fans of the different products and then recommend them to our customers. Um, Debbie, so I know that that has come up a lot is that we wanted to be able to buy the A box as a demo. I don't know why Avon um, is not going to do that. I, I don't have an answer for you, but I know it's been suggested multiple times. Um, so the 2017 Snowflake Pewter Ornament. Um, this may be something that you want to buy to have on hand for on the spot sales. Um, this is a very hot seller every single year. Um, people collect them. Sometimes they go on back order. So if you have some, uh, you may even be able to sell them to other Avon representatives if you can't sell them to customers. So. Um, let your customers know it's in. Be sure they know it's a collectible and they can add to the collection every year. Um, maybe you want to look at these featured products and fold the pages down or put in a sticky note when you hand it to people and say, hey, be sure to check out the featured products that I've marked with a sticky note. Um, display the ornament in your home and post pics on social media. Um, so some of us that have tried to work at building online sales and have not had much success um, understand what a time commitment it is. So instead of focusing fully on online sales, um, work to build up both face-to-face -face sales and do things simultaneously 
uh, to be able to share online. So uh, I just did a video with the Christmas products. I snapped a couple pictures so that I put it in the layout, posted it on Instagram, posted it on Facebook, uh, sent it out, sent the video out in an email, sent the video out on social media. Um, so sometimes it's about learning those routines where we're gonna make the most of what we've already done. Um, it took me a long time to get all the products out and set them up to look nice. So I want to share that with my online audience as well. Um, and make the pewter ornament a prominent part of your holidays display for customers. So uh, holiday time, look for craft fairs, look for vendor events. Um, the beautiful and kind of complicated part of this business is it's so flexible that you can really choose how to run it. Um, so the, the bigger it becomes, the more successful you are, the pickier you can be about what you do. Um, so I've tried a lot of vendor events and it just wasn't fun for me. So um, don't try to force things that aren't comfortable or you don't have fun doing. Um, when you find parts of the business that you really enjoy and have passion about, uh, the results and the money follow. Um, so home fragrance candles. I love our three wick candles. I always have one in the house. I haven't tried the mixology yet where you burn two at one time. Um, I need to do that. <laughs> um, so burn them in your home. Maybe someone will say, oh, wow, it smells really good in here. What is that? And it's a perfect opportunity to open up the door about your Avon. Um, so I see you guys, some of you are asking questions. Um, I don't go off topic of what I'm talking about on the slide. So I do open it up at the end to answer questions. So if you have anything that I'm not covering, uh, save it for the end, please. Um, so you can buy scented bookmarks as samples. Um, there are scented circles in the book. Uh, another thing that you may wanna fold down the page or put a marker in. Um, and that mixology, I know there was a chart last year. I'm sure there's one this year too. So um, have some fun with that. Maybe you want to print it out and laminate it so you can show people the different ideas of burning two at once and that is more sales for you. Um, candles make great order builders, so be sure to point them out for those who are working toward the A box. All right, so I was looking back at our presentation from last year, and I was blown away by how many coupon codes there were. <laughs> um, so if you guys were with us last Christmas, you know that that's a big change this year, uh, that we really don't have coupon codes to promote for online shopping. Um, as a trade-off, they have given us more commission. Uh, so we don't wanna complain about that, uh, we want to be smart about what we're sharing. So every time uh, I hand out a catalog, I have that welcome 10 code on there. Anyone can use it for 10% off any size order. They can only use it one time ever though. Um, so make sure uh, when you're sharing offers and deals that you're very specific about the details. Um, otherwise, people will come back and be like, well, you told me I could, you know, get 10% off and it's not working. Um, so the best way to prevent customer disappointment is just being very honest and thorough when you approach them the first time. So I like to take my neon labels, I put them on the front of the book, and I always have that welcome 10 code on there. I also always include it in my campaign mailer um, label. So uh, definitely take advantage of that. There is usually free shipping on $25 every month. So uh, there's been cute uh, photos that have been created by other representatives. So I always try to grab one of those. Um, 
free shipping is a hot email subject whenever I send it out. It is a hot social media post. So uh, the fun thing about doing things online is that you can watch the activity and see what is successful for you and you can focus more on those things that are already working. Um, so sharing the brochure covers, uh, sharing anything about a sale or a clearance is usually popular. Um, people love the Avon outlet. Yes, uh, sometimes the availability is pretty poor, um, but we want to let people know that up front and they still love the outlet book. Okay, so use that welcome 10 code on your brochures start building a mailing list. Um, so if you guys had been collecting customers, addresses all year long, maybe someone hasn't bought from you for six months, hopefully you have their address and you could send them a book, uh, follow up with a phone call and tell them you'd love to help them do their Christmas shopping. Um, so sometimes it's not about closing the sale um closing the lead it's about building a relationship until they're looking for avon so i do send out the paper catalogs to my face-to-face -face and my online customers i have heard it over and over that my online customers like they prefer the paper catalog instead of browsing online um, I still do use that image of the catalog to entice online shoppers, but um, I reward people that shop on my website by sending them a brochure. Um, maybe you wanna give samples to all of your paying customers. So we sell makeup, we sell fragrance. That's really uh, pretty hard to do from a book. So uh, definitely take advantage of samples. Maybe you want to buy full-size <laughs> products. Sarah's talking about liquor. She's not even listening to me. Um, maybe you want to buy the full-size products to get more for your money. Um, be creative. You guys don't have to drop a ton of money to be successful with Avon. Try one idea at a time and invest what you can to try and build that business. If we're always just staying steady, um, never growing, we're never going to be making the income that we want if we really want this to become uh, a way of making good money. Um, do email marketing, whether it's through Avon or a different program. I have started using Constant Contact for about the last year. Uh, there's certain advantages to it. I like being able to put my own little recruiting image at the bottom of my emails. I like being able to link all of my social media websites so people can connect with me in different ways. Uh, I like having control over the message and the frequency that it goes out. And I like being able to measure how successful it is. So sometimes it costs money to add services on to our Avon business, but sometimes they make financial sense. Uh, so as you grow, you may want to keep building um, part-time helpers or people helping you build your business or services that help you to become more successful. Uh, post consistently on social media three to five times per day. Uh, you're not going to be driving people crazy because Avon, or not Avon, Facebook has an algorithm where not everyone that you're friends with sees all of your posts. Uh, it tracks what your audience is interested in and it only shows them things that they have shown they respond to. So don't feel like you're driving someone crazy by posting multiple times a day. It's very normal to try and reach a decent amount of people. Um, yeah, so Cheryl's talking about uh, how she looked at MailChimp. Um, I have to tell you, I do believe that is why 
uh, part of the reason why we're closing uh, a lot more leads. So uh, when I get someone who's interested in selling Avon, they go directly into my marketing program. Uh, that way, if they decide not to sign up yet, I am still marketing to them without having to call or text or um, be an annoyance to them. So I can still be sending them information and I do believe that's a uh, part of the reason why our conversion rate is a little bit higher. Um, so analyze your traffic sources to figure out where it's best to spend your time. So I've found, um, you know, maybe I want to go through this slide first uh, because it makes more sense to me. Uh, as my business has grown bigger, there's different groups of people that I want to be marketing to on a consistent basis. So who is in your social networking groups? Do you have a list? Do you have a mailing list that you can follow up on? Do you have a, a phone list that you can go through and call? Do you have email? Um, so again, it's not about getting a, action, getting the sale right on the spot. Um, it's about building that relationship. So if we think about our different groups, uh, here we have leads. So um, anyone who's a lead, I send um, information to buy from me and to sign up on my team. So uh, those leads kind of all become one group, but I do separate them to be able to identify those who did express interest in becoming a rep. Um, sometimes I'll send them just a recruiting email where I don't do that with my customers or my leads. Um, we have our customers that we wanna be marketing to. Um, over time, when you build up that mailing list, again, you can be more selective of, of who you mail out to because um, your list starts becoming too big and you can't afford to mail out to all of them. So you can start uh, giving special attention to your good customers. Uh, we have pending representatives. If you're in leadership, you have people that have signed up but have not yet placed an order. We have new representatives, so they're gonna need different information than those of who have been selling for a year or more. You have your top sellers, you have your top e-sellers, and then you have your top leaders. So um, that's probably way too much overload for someone who's just starting out with Avon, but the more you continue building these different groups of people, you'll see that it's important to keep track of them so that you can be marketing to them throughout your career. So whether it's my customers or my team members or my leads, uh, I have found that by communicating in all of these different forms is what gets me the best results. Um, so some people are gonna respond better to a blog post some people are gonna like that email. Um, social media, other people are gonna respond to. Texting is good for reminders. Uh, I, don't, I don't text customers or leads, um, but I know a lot of my leaders have been successful through text. Um, snail mail, sometimes it's fun to, for people to get a greeting card. They don't uh, come around very often, so they say thank you say welcome, uh, check out my website, here's a coupon code to use, uh, be helpful and people will keep coming back to you. Um, and then videos, so how can you communicate to a team of 1,000 people that are all around the United States? Well, you do videos and that way you can reach groups of people. And then you can also do email marketing based on where your team members are in their journey. So I've found that uh, video is very helpful to try and uh, get people to know me and, and feel like that we have a relationship even though it's through the computer. So how can you collect contact information? How can you get all of these groups to even start marketing to them? 
Um, so I've found through a catalog request option on my blog, uh, a sample request. I haven't done that very much because uh, I have too many visitors that I wouldn't be able to fulfill that. So make sure you're being honest so that anything you put out there, you can follow through with. Um, a newsletter sign up. I use Mail Munch. It goes directly into my constant contact email list. Um, and those build for me without me even doing anything. So uh, make sure that you're capturing information of people that are walking by you at an event or going on your blog and checking out your articles. Um, something that we do that I've, that I've done for two or three years now is a giveaway drawing. So we'll, we'll pick like a bundle of products every month and we set it out and we have contact forms so that our customers fill it out so we get their contact information um, then we draw a name at the end of the month and that person gets our giveaway. So try to be creative and reward customers for giving you their information. Maybe you want to give 10% off for uh, giving their email address or whatever it is. You can be very creative in how you market your Avon business. Um, so based on the information we collect, we can do email marketing, direct mail. Um, we can set up customer profiles so we can even know who our top skincare customers are, our top makeup buyers, our top outlet shoppers. Um, the more you know about your customers and the people around you, uh, the better you can service them. Um, birthdays and anniversaries, those are nice to recognize not only on your team, but also to customers. And then, uh, of course, thank yous. So if you take care of people, they will keep coming back to you. And sometimes it's more about the small things that you do uh, than any great idea that you come up with that you want to produce 100 new customers. <laughs> So let's take a look at our top e-sellers on Team Momentum. We have Peter, Terry, Sarah, Graciela, Deanne, Tammy, Susan, Laura, Jacinda, and Stacy. Great job, you guys. All right. So if you are new to Avon, everyone can sign up someone online. You send them to startavon.com. Your reference code is the end of your e-store. Um, so if you don't know what that is, you can go to your web office and over on the right hand side, it says your website URL is. So that's where it's gonna tell you um, if you do not have that information. Um, and you wanna make sure that the appointment goes through successfully. So sometimes there are issues uh, with a new rep linking to the correct leader. So always make sure that you get that self-appointment confirmation email. If you do not, you need to contact Avon Leadership um, as soon as possible to get that fixed. You can also send people to sell Avon on your website. So you can go there, you can right click over that and copy your link address. Um, and that's where I would share, that's the URL I would share online. So there's not two different steps, like go to www.startavon.com and enter the reference code. I put it like that on paper. I give them the direct link when I want them to click through and sign up online. Um, and the easiest way is to share recruiting posts from the social media center. So you can sort it by most clicked and become a representative. You can also use these incentives as uh, lure to get people to want to become reps. Say, hey, did you know Avon's giving away four Mini Coopers to representatives? Um, come join the fun. 
you want to earn a cruise with me to Bermuda next year, ask me about my Avon business. Um, I'm a big fan of getting people to ask me, <laughs> um, not pushing it on them. So um, it depends on your personality, what type of recruiting you prefer. But I promise you, you can find something that is comfortable to you. I was terrified of leadership and recruiting and wanted nothing to do with it in the beginning. Uh, and then felt like I was missing out on stuff in the business. So I figured out a way that I liked doing it. All right, so let's celebrate our top leaders, Cheryl Jane, Terry, Kim, Trisha. Cheryl Jane, Kim, Terry, Trisha. I think they're the same names. Some of them were a little uh, different there. <laughs> so congratulations for growing your teams. Um, I've been stuck at the same title for two years <laughs> and no pressure on Cheryl and her team, but depending on what they do the next few campaigns, um, we all may be, we all may or may not be advancing. <laughs> So it's kind of ironic, right? In the beginning of leadership, uh, it's very frustrating. Uh, you feel like you're never going to get to that bronze ambassador. Um, it's kind of crazy at this stage because like my whole fate is in Cheryl's hands. <laughs> All right. I'm just messing with her a little bit, but it is kind of crazy. Like when you get to that level, it's, it's not really up to you, it's, it's up to your leaders under you. So lots of different lessons to learn as you grow through the different stages. Amy, Becky, Christine, Jacinda, Jane, Kira, Lindsay, Stacy, Barbara, Diana, Evangeline, Heather, Jen, June, Kim, Leticia, Trisha, Sarah, and Cheryl. Um, you guys rock. I honestly had to put my leads on pause because I cannot keep up. So this is a very exciting place to be. I want to be there for my leaders. I try to be there for the whole team, but I can only do so much as one person. Um, we have 110 team appointments as of today and 19 leaders with appointments in October. Way to go. Uh, Cruise Like a Boss incentive is going on now. Uh, we have some people that are on their way. Cheryl, Becky, Jane, Ellen, Barbara, Marcia, Kim, Terry, Trisha, Heather, Charlotte, and Holly. Um, what is my biggest advice there? I slipped, uh, skipped some slides. So here's all the different ways that you're going to earn points. Um, pay attention to title promotion and mentoring. Those are going to give you the most points. Um, signing up people through your own recruiting source is going to give you the next most points. Um, so focus on building every campaign. Um, don't forget to work with those new representatives to help them be successful along the way because you are rewarded for those that continue to place $150 orders. So if you don't feel like you have a lot of points right now, don't worry about it because these are going to start, um, they're going to start building on each other towards the end. So um, it's going to be normal to be putting in a lot of the points at the end of the incentive period. So don't give up before you've even started. Uh, stay excited. Remind yourself of it daily. I am sending out ranking reports, um, hopefully every week, so that you guys, so it's on your mind, you can know where you stand and stay motivated. And Avon's giving us prizes as we go. All right, so uh, Women's Fragrance Finder. Fragrance is going to be a, a top seller for you guys at holiday time. Um, at least it is for me. 
Um, so we have a couple of sales tools. Um, I did go and find this in that success center. Um, some of that information is really outdated, so be careful. Um, and you may wanna look at this and see if any of the perfumes have been discontinued. Maybe you wanna put a little uh, round circle over it or something. But uh, this is kind of fun. It tells you uh, which categories the fragrance fits in. Um, I know I like warm and spicy, so I would like that category there. And this is just part of the chart, but I will post them as a link in your follow-up email. So we have a women's and a men's fragrance finder. We have this cute little shopping list that gives your customers uh, people they can think of to build their list for. Maybe they want to go through and put the page number and uh, turn in their whole Christmas shopping list with you. Um, I'm going to dig these out from my files because I know they're somewhere. Um, here's a little cute brochure about finding holiday helpers. Um, so I'm sure there's all kinds of flyers and stuff being made in all those Facebook groups. Um, I have like my old standbys where I go to my files and be like, oh yeah, that one worked really well. <laughs> um, hot sellers for Christmas. So if you're setting up at a vendor event, if you're having a holiday open house, um, these are some of the items that you might wanna have for on the spot sales. Uh, gift sets, you can be really creative and people love when you help them save time at holiday time. So uh, I, I used to buy from Nashville Wraps, I believe it's called. Uh, you can buy cellophane bags through them. They have all kinds of boxes and bows and um, it can get a little pricey, so be careful what you spend, but you can also check out like dollar stores and, oh, Sarah must have used them. She said they have shrink wrap too. Yes, they have just about everything. Um, <laughs> if you have an endless budget, you can go crazy because they have a ton of products. Um, check out your Dollar Tree stores. Get some Christmas mugs and uh, put it together with some bubble bath and some slippers. Uh, those kind of gestures for people go a long way. Uh, a lot of times we do that at Christmas time and those sell better than the box sets. So try to be creative. You don't have to spend a ton of money to be creative. Um, you can do bath and body, skin care, those candles make great gifts. What I did, um, there's a really pretty rhinestone candle holder. I think it's called like a snowflake candle holder. It's really pretty. You can turn that upside down, um, get that candle out of the box. Uh, a lot of our boxes are not that exciting to look at. So to make really pretty gift sets, sometimes it requires taking it out of the package. Um, you may want to creatively include the empty box in there so that they have the full product. Uh, so I would take that candle holder, put it upside down, and then put the three wick candle on top of that. So it would make like a little cylinder almost, and then cellophane and uh, uh, just a twist tie bow. <laughs> I like to be creative, but I don't like to take the time to do creative things. So I find little cheats that help me look better. Uh, footworks. People love footworks at holiday time. Um, stocking stuffers, lip balms, and hand creams. Stock up on those. Uh, I think they have a deal. I think it's in the holiday gift guide where you get like all 14 for $10. Maybe you want to buy some of those yourself and just sell them individually. So you can be creative with those value sets that Avon puts together um, to come up with different gift sets and deals for your customer. Because the prices have raised quite a bit this year, 
Uh, I'm doing a customer appreciation event November 1st through the 7th, and then I'm doing it also December 1st through the 7th. So I made uh, postcards advertising them. Um, 20, I did 20% off. You may want to put a stipulation in there. Maybe you wanna do 20% off if they spend 50 or more. Um, I just did a 20% off period. So I know we'll have some people come in and buy one deodorant and other people will come in and be really excited and get a lot of stuff. Um, so you may want to think of ways to help your customers get a good deal to try and soften the blow of the price increase. We also have not many kids items left. Those roll-on paints are gone. Um, so there's some disappointments that we cannot control. So you may wanna do some extra things to distract them and let them know you're still taking care of them. There's jewelry, there's bubble baths, slippers, brush sets, makeup sets. Um, when those guys come to you and have no idea what to get their teenage daughters, uh, point them to those makeup sets. Okay, so we are already in 23-24. Uh, the longer you sell Avon, the sooner you will start planning for holidays. Um, if you told me years ago I would start in October, I would tell you I'm cr you're crazy, but um, they go by so fast and you really just want to make the most of those campaigns. Um, Sarah's saying she makes eyeshadow lollipops. I have seen a picture and they are very cute. So hopefully um, Sarah can share that in our makeup marketing group. So what are some sales tips? Um, investing more in your sales tools, uh, making those cute gift sets. Uh, definitely if it's a very affordable set and you think you can get away with charging an extra dollar or two for personally wrapping it, um, I would definitely say that that is not out of line. A lot of places charge for gift wrap. Um, or you might wanna do it as a free service. So maybe that's what's gonna make you unique this, these holidays. All gifts personally wrapped by me for free. Um, host open house events, invest in demos. Sometimes those demos will go further with your money than investing in samples. Um, and then no matter how big your Avon business is, sales tools and samples can get expensive. So I don't see anything wrong with asking if they're interested in it. I would rather give people samples uh, if I knew they wanted it than just to pass them out with every purchase. Keep books on hand at all times. Wear your button, wear your name tag, wear whatever you want for people to ask you for an Avon book. Maybe you want to do a free gift with purchase. Like I mentioned, we're going to uh, do those A boxes on Black Friday. Uh, I don't know what Avon has planned. I believe last year they gave us a heads up on the Black Friday and the Cyber Monday deal. But that was also when we were doing coupon codes. So I really don't have any heads up for you on what Avon Corporate has in store for those days. Um, okay, so here's Nashville Wraps and the Dollar Tree where you can find some of those cute things that won't cost you a bunch but will make your gift sets look nice. Uh, so this is from last year. This is Arenthea. Um, she's a very successful seller and leader, and she had some top 10 fragrance tips. So um, these definitely did not get old over the year's time. So they're definitely still practical and you can use them in your business. So especially with those fragrance kits, get to know the different scents. Uh, there's, you know, the top note, the middle note, 
Um, I'm not the best person to be telling you this because I don't know a whole lot about fragrance. Um, but I would take the time, especially the newer fragrances that are being featured, to learn about what the scents are in them. Um, if a customer is looking for a certain scent and we no longer sell it, um, ask them if they know what notes were in it. So you could go in and type in like musk or vanilla in your website and then um, it will pull up those products. Talk to customers. So sometimes it's just about building that relationship, making it feel comfortable and fun to shop with you. Uh, Having personal customer service is definitely something very unique that we still offer people that um, is not very common. So you really use that to your advantage. Sorry about that. Um, decide what to show, sample the scent, try on their wrist, get their permission first, of course, um, present the bottle, Offer the whole set, not just the fragrance. Be confident, follow up, and remember fragrance is giftable. So fragrance seals definitely shoot through the roof for me at holiday time. So we really want to be prepared with samples, uh, with the bottle. Maybe you just want to sell Prima Noir. Maybe that's the scent that you want to focus on. Sometimes I think we try to understand all of it, but if we focus on one and do that really well, we can add on as we go. Um, and then if it's a woman buying from you, don't forget the men in their life. Uh, women just get kind of in a craze of shopping and, and they'll spend more if you sit there and talk to them and remind them that they have other people to buy for. <laughs> All right, so uh, I hope that this sparks some ideas for you. I hope this wasn't uh, discouraging for anyone. Um, I've definitely been in a place where I've been struggling with Avon. Uh, I hung in there and I can't stress how important it is to take the time to learn and to try different techniques. You really got to find uh, the way you enjoy your business and then it won't feel like work to you. All right, so uh, I will end it with a quote here that change is inevitable, growth is optional. Um, so I've gone through, you know, some, some personal family issues over the past few months, some some Avon issues, some frustrations, and uh, you know, sometimes we keep hitting dead ends in our life. <laughs> and it really takes time after time to, at least for me, I feel like there's a message and it's like telling me, Emily, slow down, you need to change the way you're doing things. And uh, I just keep plowing forward and finally it's like, okay, you know, I give up. Why is all this bad stuff happening to me? And sometimes it's the life lessons that we need to learn as we go through these challenging times. Um, so, you know, just try to, I really like easygoing, fun Emily much better than stressed out. Uh, pity party, Emily. <laughs> um, so you guys don't see that side of me much because I try not to show it to you, but I do go through it. And uh, the way that we can grow is to learn from our mistakes and uh, to change that going forward and to use it to positively affect your life and those around you. All right, so I hope you guys had a, a great week, and I hope that um, I will open it up for questions. Thank you, Dee. She raised her hand, and it reminded me. <laughs> I covered a lot of information, so um, I, th I hope it was helpful. I hope we have high sales. I hope we have title advancements. Um, definitely continue believing in you. Tr 
try not to get wrapped up in busy, gossipy stuff that goes on in the Avon business. Uh, if it's not benefiting you or your business, um, try to focus on things that keep you happy and keep you growing. Try, oh, are you trying to scroll on my screen? That's because I'm on the Mac and I don't know my way around. So I have to keep the screen small so I can see my chat too. <laughs> sometimes I'm good with technology, sometimes I'm completely clueless. So <laughs> I do what works and I don't worry about being perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open it up. Uh, those of you that have any questions about the slides we covered, um, okay, so D is saying the challenge is to learn how to put the Avon brochure on the personal blog site. Um, so I have a complete template for that on uh, makeupmarketers.com. So I've made it um, very easy for you to post that in a blog. So if you go to makeupmarketers.com and let's see, just do a search for template. Um, if you watch any tutorial on YouTube about, um, I would first figure out which platform you wanna use to do your blogging. Uh, so Blogger and Wix are good ones that um, I recommend for beginner bloggers. Um, find which service you're gonna use. Okay, so D uses WordPress. Um, so then I would just watch a YouTube tutorial on how to add an image. Um, you can come in here and copy this. I've, I've made it so that, oops, and I need to take that out because I do allow you to copy this. <laughs> All right, so make sure you read what I wrote because I tell you um, what you wa might wanna talk about there. So I didn't completely come up with the content for you, but I did put the images there that link to those static brochures. Um, one of my, one of the ways I get people to actually shop is you want to make sure that they go to the live brochure and not just this static one if you're wanting to convert them to a customer. Um, so these static brochures are helpful for customers to be able to check out the book ahead of time. It's not gonna help you get more online sales. So make sure if you do a vlog that you go back in when this book is effective and you point them to the live brochure on your website. So if I click on a shop online brochure here, um, some of my training is outdated. Uh, Avon has made some changes. So some of the information I provided is no longer valid. Uh, so I used to tell you not to copy this URL up here but now you can, yay. So um, this is the cleanest URL I've seen to um, post the current brochure. Um, so if you wanted to, let's just say you wanted to save the image. So I would come in and right click over it. I would say save image as, um, and I actually have campaign folders for each campaign with images for each campaign. Um, so I try to do my best to uh, help you guys out as much as I can. I always just run out of time to do everything that I wanna do. I have given you um, an easy way to get the first one and then hopefully you can understand how to do it from there. Um, what groups am I in? Uh, do you mean Facebook groups? How do you follow up without being annoying? <laughs> um, I've been very 
I've been probably too careful about not being an annoyance. Um, I'm, I'm not like that anymore. I overly communicate. So if someone's uh, annoyed by me, it's probably going to be because I contact them too much. <laughs> um, the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll become. You can do it more as a courtesy. Uh, Hey, I'm placing my campaign 24 order tomorrow. Please let me know if you need anything. Yeah. Um, so that's not really like cornering them. Like, aren't you going to order from my book? Come on. I thought you said that you wanted to buy all that stuff in campaign 24. Um, so don't pressure them. Make it more of a courtesy and uh, to not feel like you're pestering someone, sometimes a good way to do that is to do a social media post or um, kind of put a reminder announcement out there. People are super busy, uh, so it is really important to follow up with them. Um, but yes, Cheryl and I have <laughs> learned to communicate until we get cussed out. People <laughs> um, you don't want to be like that. I'm being sarcastic. Um, but some people are going to be really nasty to you, even if you contact them just one time. Um, some people are going to be very appreciative that you remind them. Uh, you're going to get all kinds the more people you deal with. Um, so in my Facebook groups, uh, I only keep team momentum to team momentum. Um, but the only thing I really share in there that I don't share in makeup marketing online is uh, just more recognition stuff and team stuff. So if you're in our makeup marketing online Facebook group, um, I try to share there very often. Um, I went through a little slump myself, so I'm grateful that Cheryl was there to keep giving you guys information. Um, I've learned that I have to set personal boundaries for myself or I get taken advantage of. So one of those fun lessons that I've learned. <laughs> Gratefully, Cheryl was there to fill in for me uh, while I went through my little slump. Okay. Charlotte, when Vibe tells you that you are not receiving leads, is there a way to know that you actually are, uh, let's see, and I was wondering if there's something that could be put on the site where the person knows that there are leads waiting to be opened. Um, so inside Alma, there should be a... See, mine's on pause. <laughs> I really do love all my leads and I think they're a great investment. Um, I need to get caught up before I turn it back on. So if we go to preferences and it says that we are opted in, um, here is where you can turn on your follow-up notifications. Um, so for closing leads, it's always most helpful to follow up as soon as possible. So I would turn on those notifications. I would tell you what's more important than following up right away is taking the time to capture that information and putting them in your continuous marketing. Um, so I would rather you wait a day so that you have them uploaded into your web office or your marketing program than I would con contacting them immediately and doing nothing with their information. Oh, good. We're, we're talking about some of the hater stories here. <laughs> some of them are so off the wall that you, you almost just have, have to laugh. Oh, but that's not funny. Okay, so sometimes uh, we do need to be sensitive. People go through rough things at li in life and sometimes we just catch them at the wrong time. Uh, the best thing is to not take it personally. Um, people don't know us and they wanna judge us and be negative, then that's their problem. Uh, some, someone commented on my YouTube yesterday or two days ago that uh, 
what did they say? I take too long to get to a point. So sorry, guys. <laughs> I do over explain and I like to tell stories. So, uh, you know, I'm not perfect and I have learned to accept that and not let those comments and critiques really get to me. Um, how do you get over being shy and approaching people? Um, because you get stuck what to say. So I have a video um, about selling tips for people that are shy. Um, I would have never believed you uh, 10 years ago if you told me that I could speak in front of a room. Um, so if you are deathly afraid of speaking, you can get over it. <laughs> um, I promise you the more you do things, the more comfortable they become. Um, I like to look at it as those things out of my comfort zone that excite me. I push myself to do, even though they make me nervous. If it's something that's pushing me, but I don't like it, I do not push myself. <laughs> um, so prospecting someone in the grocery store is not for me, and it never will be. Um, so there's some things that are gonna help you grow, some things that are just not for you. Uh, shy people having um, marketing materials with you to kind of take the, uh, take the attention off of you and onto the book can help. Uh, it can help to say, would you like an Avon brochure? Um, if they say no, uh, you say, okay, no problem. You move on to the next person. Um, so having stuff with you that lets people know you are an Avon rep, um, putting a decal on your car, putting a sign in your yard, um, Again, the beauty of the business, you can um, grow it how you want. I do recommend getting like business cards. Um, they can be a lot cheaper to leave out and about around the town than a whole brochure. So if you're really trying to build your team, um, leaving business cards might be a better idea. Uh, people love our little lipstick bullets. It bring back brings back a lot of memories for some people. So that can be a really helpful sales tool. Um, yes, Amy has grown a lot as a leader. So that's something that's really fun to see um, in this stage of the business is seeing my leaders grow and develop and uh, seeing that they are practicing good habits when I'm in a good or bad mood. <laughs> when I'm in a bad mood, I kind of hibernate from you guys. Um, but I'm out of my funk. So we all go through it. <laughs> um, usually something's bothering you if you're, if you're in a funk. So uh, evaluate what you're doing and what you need to change. Um, awesome. So LaToya, some of us, uh, some of us don't have guidance or someone that we can go to for advice and inspiration. So, um, you are welcome to my events and information. Um, what I can't do is make people successful. I can't do the work for you. I can't tell you what's going to make you successful. What I can do is provide tips and tools for you to take the time to learn and figure it out yourself. So um, as strong leaders, we don't do for our, you know, sometimes you can do for your, your leaders. I like to do uh, special things for my leaders, but you don't wanna do their work for them. You want to reward when they're doing a good job so that they can build successful teams without you. All right, so how do you join a team? Um, so right now, if you did not sign up with a team, um, there isn't a way to join one if you're already a representative. Okay, so you guys are, it's getting pretty late. Any uh, last minute questions? I have been talking a lot. I'm sorry for those of you that have to listen to my voice. <laughs> okay, 
You guys have a, a good night. Um, always be optimistic if you get into funks. Um, you know, it's, unfortunately, it's your family that's got to deal with it the most. <laughs> um, but do everything you can to get that attitude changed. Um, congratulate people and celebrate success. Have fun. Um, sometimes it's the simple things that we're missing that can make all the difference. All right, you guys, uh, have a great night and I will see you later. Bye.